Hello, Pastor Doug, back again with another Bible brief. Let me begin this Bible brief by asking you a question. When you hit the word scripture or scriptures in the New Testament, what does it mean? Well, you might say, well, it means the Bible. Scripture, Bible, same word. Mm, yeah, the word Bible meaning books, scripture meaning the writings, and the scriptures are the holy writings. And yeah, it does mean that. However, always remember, first read something in context. 98% of the time when the New Testament uses the word scripture or scriptures, it is referring to the Old Testament. Why? Well, the obvious reason, the New Testament hadn't been written yet. And as we're going to read here in Luke 24, no one has written the New Testament yet. It's coming soon. But when the New Testament talks about scripture, it usually means the Old Testament. There are a few exceptions, and we'll talk about those in later videos. But here, let me prove the point. Let's take a look at Luke 24, verse 45. Then he, the Lord Jesus, opened their minds. This is on the road to Emmaus. This is after the resurrection. In the most epic Bible study of all time, the Lord Jesus is explaining to a few of his followers the whole meaning of the Holy Scriptures, that it's about Christ. We'll get to that in a second. But... This is amazing. Again, let's read it from the beginning. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, the sacred writings. Now, how do I know this is the Old Testament? Besides the simple logic that the New Testament hasn't been written yet, go read our verse for today. Luke 24, verse 44. Now he, Jesus, said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all the things which are written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. This verse 44 is a hugely important verse because this is one of the first references we have to a clear division, not in the bad sense division, but a clear division of the Old Testament of scriptures. There is the law of Moses, which for the Jews is the most sacred part of the Old Testament. The first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. But there's other sections. There's the prophets, those who were sent to Israel to say, Thus saith the Lord, and the Psalms, which would also include the writings and the histories, but in particular, that great prayer book of the Old Testament, those 150 chapters that we read in the book of Psalms. And so this is a clear reference to the Old Testament. And so this explains what the scriptures are. So the scriptures here are all the Old Testament. But notice what's so important about this. All the Old Testament testifies about Christ. The meaning of the Old Testament is Jesus. So when you read the Old Testament, we are to hear Christ and him crucified. Whether from Genesis 1 or to the end of Malachi, it's about Christ. But also notice what's going on here. Our Lord is putting his words on the same level as scripture. And of course, with the New Testament, it is the final revelation of God's written word. After revelation is done, you can add nothing else to scripture. So when you hear in the New Testament this word scripture, I want you to first realize it's about the Old Testament. And that the Old Testament is about Christ. And Christ's words are the final revelation of God, and therefore the Old and New Testament are all sacred scripture. Well, I hope that helps. As always, Christ's grace and peace to you all. Amen.